welcome to Seen Through Glass and welcome to day four of my adventures with my 360 in Italy. Today is all about this, the brand new Ferrari FXXK Evo. Look at this thing. I thought the FXXK was a good looking car. The FXXK Evo, in my opinion, is just another level. Now, I don't think it's a big surprise to any of us that they have applied an Evo package upgrade to the FXXK. Ferrari have always done it for the XX cars. We had the FXX Evo, the 599 XX Evo, and now here you go, FXXK Evo. Um, now, these Evo packages, the Evolutione packages, don't tend to do too much to the power output, so it's still the same 1,050 uh, horsepower that you get in the standard FXXK. This car has a huge amount of downforce. That is what has transitioned and transformed on this car. 640 kilograms of downforce at 200 kilometers an hour. I mean, just looking at it, you can see that this thing is gonna be glued to the ground. It has shaved off a little bit more weight. It is 20 kilograms lighter than the standard FXX K, but it is all built, it is all made to be a more enjoyable driving experience for the customer. Let's just remind ourselves of that this is a customer car. This is not a race car. This will not take part in any series, which is a shame. I mean, imagine this in like Le Mans. Um, but this is purely made for Ferrari's elite top level customers. You basically have to be invited to buy this. They never really reveal the price. They never really tell you how many are made, but you get a lovely email saying, would you like to come and buy an FXXK or an FXK Evo? I mean, what an email, what day that was. It, maybe it's not even an email, maybe it's a handwritten letter, maybe it's a phone call, who knows? But it must be a truly incredible day when it does happen. And as I say, this entire car has been crafted to be an easier, more enjoyable car to drive for that very lucky customer. But very quickly, let me point out the sort of upgrades or the new parts. This new front bumper, so this is entirely different for the FXK, ah, I'm gonna stumble on that so much. FXXK Evo as it is to the standard FXXK. You can see here they've created some sort of air intakes which funnel air around the side via then these kind of fins. Push the air around the side, again, helping that front end grip. We still have this massive sort of air intake there. So as you can imagine, Air comes rushing through here and then up over the car. But again, it just, it just creates, an, if it's possible, a more aggressive front end on the FXXK. I didn't think that was possible. Now, you will notice this is not a complete car. This is a static display car. There is only one car that they've got finished, which they're doing testing with. Um, and that's going, I think, off to a racetrack somewhere around the world so they couldn't bring it here today. So we've just got the static car, no interior. But I'm going to talk to you about some bits on the interior in a second. Anyway, around the side, you can see you've got these massive side sails with, I love it, the no step sign. And again, it's just so angled, so aggressive. Another part which I can't show you today, which apparently is a true marvel with the FXXK Evo, is the underside, the floor. Apparently they have worked so hard on the floor, and apparently it's actually beautiful to look at, to create vortices of air that basically push and funnel away around the car. Because, look, if I come back again to the front, I don't know if you can see, but it sits so low to the road, so minimal amounts of air go under it, but what does go under it gets pushed out all the way around the back by this new diffuser, which is the same size as my house. Look at this thing, I mean, it is absolutely, I mean, it looks like it's gonna eat something. If I was a kid, I would be scared of this, but, you know, not only is it just, it's working with air that has been worked even further below. Look at that, look at that. So yes, diffuser more aggressive. Uh, exhaust, exhaust working, tailpipes, all pretty similar to the standard FXXK, which is over there. So apparently it doesn't sound too different, but apparently inside the cockpit it does. Apparently it's a lot louder, a lot more aggressive inside, um, but on the outside it's pretty similar to the standard car. The kind of major visual thing, which is the quickest way to tell if you're looking at an Evo car or not, is this, the new rear wing and fin. So again, looking at the standard car, you can see we have the kind of winglets on the back. This now has a complete rear wing structure. This is really where the new 640 kilos of downforce comes through. You're looking at a low drag setup, and that is because here, 
we have a movable rear wing. This is the sort of air brake on the LaFerrari, which you can make come up and be fixed for a high downforce setting. Can you imagine? I mean, that is basically an, a canopy. It's like a parachute at the back of your car right then. We've also got this kind of Formula One inspired, I don't know what you call that, bridge or fin. So you can pretty much imagine the air. They always said that Adrian Newey could see air. I can see air on this car. Comes up over the top and then gets funneled through these fins down underneath that wing to make it work even better. And as I say, this is all about making the driver more comfortable because let's not forget once again that this is not a car to be driven by racing drivers. This is to be driven by customers, people out there who own F40s or Enzos or LaFerraris. So it's got to cater for different skill sets. And apparently a complaint, if there is such a thing, about the standard FXXK is that at high speed, it felt a tiny bit unstable because there wasn't a huge amount of rear end downforce. So most customers would buy run in the high downforce setting which meant that that wing at the back was always up because a bit more stability on the straights so they wanted to build that into the car to make it faster but make it more stable on the straights which i think is an amazing thing because ferrari are just incredible in my mind they built this car for pure pleasure and apart from all the appendages and additions on the outside, one of the main parts is in the cockpit. And whilst I can't show you that on this car, I can show you the steering wheel, which has been totally redesigned to improve the customer's experience. Okay, I've now been joined by Raffaele Di Simone. That's the right pronunciation, right? Correct. My Italian's getting worse, I think. It was no, getting I... better at one point, but it's getting worse. Always more and more in Italy, so I your know. Italian will improve. I definitely. hope so, I hope so. But anyway, this is the man, the myth, the legend that basically test drives any Ferrari you've ever seen, ever. So, it's the perfect man to talk us through the new steering wheel for the FXXK Evo. Now, this is as close as we're getting to a GT car steering wheel for a yes, customer? Yes, it, it comes from a mixture between F1 and GT cars experience. Plus, according to the philosophy of the program X6, we start to think about the cognitive loads of the drivers with a such powerful car okay. to keep it lower as possible. So very rational and well integrated with the instrument cluster just behind the steering wheel. Blue buttons on left and right side if you like to drive the Manitino cars in manual so you can arm the system before the straight okay for example while braking on the last corner and then use the full power as soon as you full the throttle so now. overtake a yeah. slower customer yeah, sort of, uh, <laughs> of course push to pass okay perfect <laughs> uh, there's other position of the cares manitino where the interaction between the combustion engine and the electric engine can change uh, is shaping is the fast charge when the state of battery is very low, maybe that's the moment in which you decide to recharge more than spend energy. On qualifying you have 1050 horsepower. Wow. <laughs> that <laughs> sounds fun, that sounds uh, fun. Yeah. Things happen so fast, a reason one more, we need to keep the driver concentrate and look very good on the on the track. So you don't have a rest, you don't have a two seconds to think on the straight, no. you're still... That's okay. also impressed a lot of drivers, uh, also F1 drivers, they have more drag compared to the FX6K and, say, and they cannot breathe during oh. uh, timing between corners. So okay. we work to keep on the both aerodynamic point of view on the central fins uh, you probably see yeah. in the image before uh, so in the low drag and low downforce configuration to keep the car stable also in between corners and also on the HMI area sure. to keep the driver fully okay. integrated and focused. Wow. Okay, amazing. Okay, so qualifying we got 1050, what's the LR at the, at the end? Yeah, LR is long run. You decide to keep the power output and input saving more balance for a longer time and so long run is the best strategy to keep the energy recovering and spend more or less more okay. longer and how for the average sort of customer or client will they do long runs like how often do drivers go out before they start to lose concentration or energy or there are some drivers that prefer to start with no yeah. boost at all at the beginning <laughs> you have only 860 horsepower here, okay. you can start learning uh, braking point, how is the reaction of the car, then you jump to long run, okay. uh, and then finally 
if you have a battle with yeah. your friends, uh, <laughs> you're into queue, you're ready to go. In queue. Okay, wow, amazing, fine. Okay, and then everything else is relatively straightforward. Suspension, yeah. I guess, is like a bumpy road mode almost. Uh, yeah, it's okay. just a um, bumpy mode, correct. If you ride a high position of stability, Manettino, so you have to control your the car by yourself, but maybe it's wet. You want an additional mechanical grip, so you prefer to switch to a softer shock absorber setup. This okay. is the right button to push. Fine, perfect. Scroll on the display, pick to stage, uh, armed and activated. Okay. Flash, and uh, more or less, that's Everything all. else is straightforward. Amazing, well perfect, thank you very much. I wish one day that I will use some kind of wheel like this to drive something, I don't know what, but <laughs> thank you very much as always. Grazie. I wish, I wish we could hear this thing start up and see it out on the track, and I would probably have missed a whole load of information that I could have told you. I, we had some amazing briefings from various different people who explained a lot about this car, but just as a, as a, a thing to look at, as a thing to appreciate, something that I know I will never get in and drive, or maybe I could blag a passenger lap in, I think it's unbelievable. So, there you go, the brand new FXXK Evo. Now, that's not the end of my day, it's actually only 11 a.m., so still lots to do here at the final day, or my final day, at the Finale Mondiale, before I get back in my 360 and make my journey back home to London. Anyway, let's go and see what else is going on today. down steps which is my mum always told me not to do because I've just been told I have the opportunity to get into uh, a car I think a passenger lap uh, for a challenge but anyway right join you in a sec
what a ridiculous way to end this weekend or this event, my attendance at this event. As you can tell, I'm out of breath. Not only because <laughs> Sam Bird just drove pretty hardcore in the uh, 488 Challenge. So that's a custom car, that's not a race car by the way. So it's not the sort of full hardcore experience, but still pretty good. <laughs> and I've now run up the uh, stairs to the car park. You can see some pretty tasty bits lurking around because I've got a long journey ahead. I'm now driving the 360 from here in Mugello, about six and a half hours to Geneva, and then tomorrow, Geneva to London. So I'm in a rush, want to beat the traffic, but all in all, incredible time. My first ever finale mondiale. I have loved it. It has been non-stop madness. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you have, and make sure to subscribe for all the adventures still to come.